everybody, it's Michelle Newton here from AOK -OK Angels with the Angels Toolbox in your weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading for the week ahead, Monday the 22nd of September through to Sunday the 28th of September. So we're going to ask three questions, tuning into the Angels of course, asking about the focus and theme of the week, the advice for the week and the special blessings the angels want to um, tell us about. So always going ahead to the new week with a positive outlook. That's what we always try to do here at the Angels Toolbox. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards for you. And there we are. They've clumped and I'm going to choose three cards. Ah, beautiful. So we have a lovely combination of the week ahead. For the week ahead. The first card, the focus of the week, is the purple angel feather. And we've had a lot of purples over the last few weeks with the theme. It's very spiritual month, September. And it's channel divine grace. The angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability and call upon you for your spiritual service, visionary leadership within the world. And the second card, the angels advice for this week is the gold angel feather. Full circle, the angels acknowledge and applaud the effort that you have put in. You are transforming from an ordinary human being into a spiritual being, and that's sitting very close here with the spiritual card. And the special blessings of the week, the aqua angel feather. You have healing hands. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. Okay, so let's have a look and see how the three cards sit together. I'm getting a very strong um, feeling about this reading here. I'm actually drawn to the fact that you may well be a healer and have healing hands and use them in a healing profession, whether that's natural therapies or mainstream, such as nursing, medicine, um, you know, um, any, any type of work that's service. But I'm actually feeling this week that we're actually going to be guided to some form of healing. Um, and I feel that it could be yourself doing the work on yourself. So you could be working more with your crystals. Um, I really feel crystals around this week. It's an en The energy is very much related to crystals. So if you have got your own little collection of crystals, this is the week that I would be clearing them on Monday or clearing them tonight. And I would be really honing in to using your crystals this week, making sure that you're um, wearing a crystal every day. Um, ask the angels to guide you as to which one to use. So wearing your crystals every day to bring that healing to yourself or this is the week to go and actually have some sort of treatment, um, a crystal healing, a Bowen massage, um, acupuncture, whatever it is that you like, Reiki, Reiki healing. Um, this is the week to um, have a little bit of self-love, either from your crystals or from someone giving it to you, a healer giving it to you. It could be that um, it's time to, to go to a medical practitioner too. So I think the healer, the special blessing is coming via a healer. So the healer can be a person a, um, that is a healer or it can be healing through crystals. That's what I'm getting very strongly this week. So it's, it's a great um, week ahead. We've got lots of guidance going forward. The angels are here um, guiding us because we've got that gold card here. That's the advice. The... Um, the healing is going to bring a completion of something that we've been working on. So whether it's an issue, emotional or health issue. So this week, it's a focus on healing ourselves, allowing ourselves to be healed too, whether that is by the crystal or by another healer. So giving yourself permission, allowing yourself, okay, I am worthy, I am worth um, whatever it is that it's the um, cost of that therapy is this week, you are worth it. So your health is your wealth. So we are going to allow the special blessing of healing in this week through either another person or a crystal that's in our collection. So a lovely week ahead, a week for some healing after last week being a time where we really were asked to pause and stop and slow down. This week, that white feather at the end of last week's reading has brought in here 
a spiritual healer, whether that's mainstream or alternative, it doesn't matter, or our crystal friends and their healing abilities. So let's um, embrace healing this week. Allow the angels to guide us to the healing that we require, that you require. So a beautiful reading. So I, I wish you many, many blessings of healing this week. And I will see you back here next week for another beautiful Angel Feather Oracle reading at the Angel's Toolbox. Bye.